So I got another comment from another Jeff talking about what he perceives as a war on small farms by corporations and the U.S. government. And uh, now, of course, you know, he's using war as a metaphor. Let's not get crazy here. Uh, and, and Jeff, I, I don't disagree at all about the difficulties these folks face. I want to push back a little bit on a perception that there is a coordinated effort, especially in the part of the government, right, uh, to get rid of small farms. Because, in fact, the government does a lot to try to help small farms. And, in fact, I, I typically, especially back in the days when I was – constant when I was focused more on political economy, you know, before the war on terror, <laughs> before all these other things, before Ukraine, um, I would have said, you know, my personal view of it was that um, the government helped in comparison to how it helped small businesses, it helped family farms more. And I used to say, look, somebody's dry cleaning business has as much importance at somebody's farm, even though in our society, I think we have more nostalgia for farms and more, you know, family farmers are good. Uh, and so that would be where I would normally be on this subject. The thing is that um, corporations are taking over a lot of economic activity because, quite frankly, they're more efficient at it. And also a lot of economic activity uh, requires size, Right. It, you know, having scale is very important for profitability and competition and anything that is global or international. You just got to be big. Right. You can't you know, the as we have more global competition, what was a big national firm is is a puny irrelevant international one. And so we're getting that process. And that is there are there are issues there. Definitely. You know, it's not all, you know, sunshine and puppy kisses. No, no, no. The thing is, though, that logic, I think, also applies to the government. And, you know, generally, we would say that the American government is very, very heavily institutionally biased in favor of agriculture. And that might not mean small family farms, I'll grant you. But if you think about it, uh, industry, you know, there's an old saying that that industries that are, are spread out over congressional districts get a lot of support. And we have a lot of farms that are spread around these areas. Right. And so these family farmers have in the rural areas uh, with rural congressmen and senators, you know, they represent a fairly big block. And so. We wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't think that they were, you know, disadvantaged too much. Now, of course, corporations, as, as corporations take over, one, they become more important. They employ more people on the farms. They become more important. Because remember, it's not always just about money. It's about votes. The more employees you have, the more contractors you have, the more votes you have, and the more that business, which might be rich and it might be able, yeah, it can certainly contribute money, but its interests are also the interests of an increasingly large portion of the voting pool. So I'm not being naive in saying money doesn't work, but you have to be sophisticated. You have to say it's not just the money, it's these other things. Also, or in line with this, one of the, I think the unintended or the, the difficulties you have is that every government program that aims to help a small farmer runs the risk of disproportionately helping the corporations because to, to get involved in anything with the government is massive paperwork and lawyers and, you know, uh, just insane amounts of bureaucracy. And only when you're doing a large contract or a large thing, or you maybe have the expertise in-house, can you fully take advantage of government programs? And so there's this kind, there's often this kind of perverse outcome that you do something for the small family farm and the corporate guys are like, well, we have tenants and we, they'll figure out a way to get a piece of that action. And they'll take more of it maybe than these other guys because they got the lawyers, right? They got the money for the licensing. They can take a long view. Right. Anything that has an upfront cost with a long term payout, small farmers are going to have trouble. You know, where does that money come from? Right. Whereas the corporation, you know, their their accountants figure it out. And so they have the money. So I think that 
and, and that's just my point is that there's a lot going on there. I don't disagree with uh, the headwind. I'm, that's why I call it headwinds, right? That these that the the prevailing trends are blowing against these guys, and uh, that's what I see. And I see the government activity um, as as often kind of boomeranging, right? As government activity kind of does, but I'm, I'm just, I don't mean to to offend. You know, come at me, bro, if you need to. But uh, that's how I see this.